Hello, welcome to Chat Science. I am Hayley Loren, and next week is London Fashion Week. So we're doing another video on fashion and technology. Today we are talking about smart fabrics. So when we think of fabric now, we think of them in terms of clothing probably. So clothing to keep us warm or to express our individuality. Um, and we can also think about it in terms of if we're in bed, you know, it's part of our duvet or when we're chilling out on the sofa. For most of us, fabric is pretty passive. But imagine if fabric could react to the environment. Maybe it could warm up if it's cold outside or change colour if it's raining. Smart fabrics can be really useful. Now we might have Fitbits when we go for a run, but imagine if it's part of our tops, you know, our actual clothing, our sports clothing is monitoring our physiology and then sending us all of this data to our phones. These are smart fabrics. They combine electronics, with textiles. So we're not talking about like embarrassing Christmas jumpers that light up because of LEDs stuck to them. And we're not talking about like those really bad ties that sing a Christmas tune when you press the bottom of it or something. So we can think of it like this. You have a load of smart thread, which is conductive. And then that's turned into a piece of fabric and a piece of material. And then you might add some sensors to it as well. And all of that is then turned into a garment, so a piece of clothing, like sports clothing or something. And then that is basically a smart garment that can track physiology or your temperature or your salt levels or your heart rate or something. And then it basically sends information all the way to your phone so you can track it in an app. So what is even like the use of this? I mean, other than the fact that it's just pretty damn awesome, to be honest. Um, but why are we even doing this? To be honest, there are endless possibilities. Fabric like this could change healthcare. It can help monitor blood pressure. It can help monitor heart rate. All of this might seem like something of the future, but it's already happening. You can already buy smart mattresses that monitor your sleep patterns. Then you can buy wearable fabrics and wearable clothing that monitor your heart rate and stress levels when you're doing sport. But obviously there are also challenges like being able to actually wash any smart fabric and affordability and even knowing what to do with all of that information that's sent to your phone. I mean, it might be quite cool to know every single stress level and your salt levels and stuff, but you know, can you really be bothered to sift through it all and make it make sense? I mean, to be honest, I'd rather just watch Netflix. That is why smart fabrics and smart clothing is also going to be combined with artificial intelligence. So you basically, you buy your top that you're wearing, that you're gonna to go to the gym in, and it will monitor your physiology. The top, that's my, that's my lovely top. <laughs> How bad is that? Um, this is, this is, let's draw a little embarrassing head. So you've got your very, very oversized top, right? That is monitoring your physiology. Then that will send signals basically up to the cloud where AI will decipher all of it. So all of that information will go to random servers somewhere, somewhere else on the planet. And then the AI sifts through the data, makes sense of it, and then all you get is information sent to your phone. And then all it might send you is an instruction like drink a glass of water or eat an orange. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and ding the bell. Um, and please do leave any comments below because I would love to hear from you. Um, I will see you next week.